think the G20 set any sort of precedent? Uh, you're aware of the bigger picture, so what, what do you think is going to happen in the future if they can do this? This G20 is basically a traveling circus of tyranny, as I like to call it. No matter where they go, all over the world, different cities, not only are they conditioning the people to go along with this tyranny, but they also are conditioning the various police forces to, um, to enforce uh, these things. So the next G20 coming up right around the corner in Korea, there's another one after that in France, which is going to be huge. Uh, and then there's another one after that in, uh, in Mexico in 2012. Um, so no matter where they go all over the world, it's the same story everywhere. That's why we want to get the film out, show future protesters what kind of things they can expect, what kind of things they can do to protect themselves, and uh, hopefully, you know, make these summits better in the future. Riot police, when did you lose your humanity? When did you dress like a stormtrooper and start stopping normal people from walking around freely in the street? <laughs> you know, like what happened in Toronto with the burning cop cars, you know? You are not scared enough. You must be more scared. At this G20 summit, the police outnumber the protesters two to one. We are sending you a message. You try to bring a gang out, the Toronto police and the Associated Canadian Police can bring out many more people than you. Freedom is a thing of the past. You are all now slaves in the new world order. So yeah, there's some heavy conditioning going on. And uh, we're going to counter that propaganda. Sounds good. Dan Dix from PressForTruth.ca, VJ Starman from WhatYouWantToBelieveIn.com. Ladies and gentlemen, you must respect the G20, the group of 20 industrialized and soon to be industrialized nations have your best interests at heart. Trust me, I'd just like to thank security for coming out in such wonderful uniforms. They are agents from the Matrix. If you don't mind stepping on public property, I can leave you alone and you guys... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where's public property? Five feet that way. We have been moved on a total of three meters. We were standing on corporate private property. Now my message is ruined. You cannot hear my megaphone because I have been moved three meters to the left. It's all over now. The man has shut me down. It's all over. Hi, this is uh, Charlie Veach of The Love Police, and this is TorontoTruthSeekers.com.